Lovely day. Beautiful British weather. What do you mean it's summer? It's Britain, we don't have summers. Idiots. Hello. How are your legs? They hurt that hell. <laughs> Well, it's to be honest, it's my traps. You know, all those squat cleans. I've not pulled that many times in a row in one workout. Hey. I feel like we're going old school with the vlogs again. You know, with the, the country music on the way to the box, just grooving. What's happening? Day two of prepping for the open. We're only six months out. <laughs> Tomorrow's Wednesday. <laughs> Look how green that BMW is. It's like very green. How do you feel? I feel fine, yesterday was easy. Yeah, no, I'm like, even like my traps in the middle of my back, my hammies, my glutes, my quads. I haven't learned how to do my hair yet. <laughs> Uh, every day of the week we kind of have like a theme. Monday's no cardio, Monday's it's kind of just heavy lifting, clean squats. Tuesday is kind of like bodybuilding focused. So like muscular endurance, a lot of volume. My traps really hurt. Got real on that one. How's that push ups are okay? Chest bar got really rough. What's the playlist? Teenage throwbacks. It's basically Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Throwing back to when I was like 13 on a skateboard with long hair. Sure, this time, smile leads in the summer place. Your head. Am I anywhere near the times that I would have done before? Probably not. Am I enjoying it? Hell yeah. It's good. But my slips all unbroken and they felt great considering my abs were screwed after the toaster bar. Good amount of volume today, 100 strict handstand push-ups, 60 strict chest bar pull-ups, 120 toes to bar, 30 bar muscle-ups and 250 double-unders. All done in an hour. I have zero laps left for any bar muscle-ups. It's so frustrating because like, like you're so excited to get back in the box and you want to give it everything but like we went so freaking hard yesterday and uh, I had very little left to give today. I feel like we need to improve our recovery again but it will come with time. Oh, I don't know if I can do the next bit. I think I'm too tired. <laughs> there was a comment on the last vlog and I'm trying to do like more regular uploads now for you guys just because we're back at the box and we're like cruising again. Someone was like, can you show us your shoe cupboard? And I was like, yeah, okay. Sure. It's actually quite shocking. Isn't there are it? too many of them, far too many. I'll do some shoe talk for those shoe fiends. Um, I bought like three pairs of these. Nike Zoomfly 3s. I bought them in white and blue and I bought two pairs of each because I, when I ran in them, I was like, these are my favorite trainers. But honestly, recently I've just been wearing these. Every time we do a running workout and they're just super comfortable. I don't even know what they are. They're the Reebok Harmony Road 3s. And you know where we got these? After they'd given all of the staff at Dubai the, 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 the kit, they were like, go and help yourself. So if there's anything that you want, just take it. And then I saw these and we were like, great. So these I wore a lot because they were super fresh and they used to be white, but now they're gray. Special edition. 909s, 
These are my favourite looking uh, Reebok Nano X's. Yeah, they're not mine. They're pretty. I haven't got a pair because I don't like the look of them, the colourways. Jazz, what do you think of these? They're some of my favourite shoes. They're my top three. Jazz has these. I don't know where we got them or when we got them, but look how clean they are. I know. They've n these have never been used. They look like something that you play a game of like foot whack-a-mole with. No, bowling. Bowling, like bowling yeah, games. bowling. Like on the Wii. <laughs> we need to get a Wii and then we'll be, we'll be flying. But they're a cool colour though. Yeah. Well, these are the dog walking collection. These yeah. ones smell, so good job you can't yeah. smell them through the camera. <laughs> There's a reoccurring theme that you'll find with me that Nano 9s are my favourite shoe ever. I just think they're stylish and they fit well. They're kind of like a mix, they're, like, they're kind of like an old, you know, they're kind of like a skate shoe, you know when you used to wear skate shoes. Anyway, big reveal Jazz, look. Big reveal. Da, 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 da. Right, real quick run through. These were 20 quid from Nike. They're in an outlet store. They're my fancy going out trainers, you know, like- These the, are my favorite shoes of Jazz's Greece. favorite shoes. Nines. These were the ones that I said I weren't gonna wear and I'm just gonna save them for like, when we go to Miami. I don't know, I don't know, that's a bad idea. Another pair of 20 quid trainers. Bargain. Innovates, as you can see. We got sent them, I put them on my feet. They were like super tight. It was like someone clamping my foot and I didn't like that feeling, so I never wore them. Even though they were the right size lengthwise, it was just like... Different people have different yeah. shaped feet. These. <laughs> feet. <laughs> these, funny story about these, I bought these. Um, it says hustle made on the tongue. Metcon 5, uh, funny story about these, is that I wore, I, so when you order them custom, they take like three weeks to come, so I went and wore them to the box. Yes. And we went and got coffee afterwards and Kieran, the box owner, his son comes over to him whilst he's got coffee in his hand and whacked him by accident. And then the coffee went all over my shoes, but we managed to get it out. But you know what these are like? I like these as like a wadding trainer. They feel more like a plimp sole. But the thing that I found with Metcons is that they're, they're kind of small. And when I've got like bigger calves and wider ankles, they just make my feet look tiny. They, lo they look like I'm wearing hooves. <laughs> You know what I mean? Another pair of Metcon 5s. I like this colorway. This colorway is a nice colorway. How many Metcons have we got? We've got an entire rack of Metcons, I think. These were the ones where you could draw it yourself. So I did the We Don't Quit and the Hustle Made on the shoe. I wore these for quite a while, actually. Trained in these quite a lot. Yeah, they look pretty trash. I remember training in these on holiday. It's one of my best memories. These are like my first pair of running trainers. I bought these after we went to Hepner's and he talked about how great they were to wad in. So I was like, yes, I'm gonna break the trend. I'm not gonna wear CrossFit shoes. I'm gonna wear running shoes to do wads in and that didn't last very long. Uh, the new Fronings, big fan. You know, I'm actually a big fan. They're super comfortable, hug your feet really nicely. This strap, believe it or not, actually does something. It holds the middle of your foot down and it's good for, for lifting. I've hit PRs in these. You wear those all the time. At yeah, the I do wear them all the time. First edition Nobles. Like the sock ones with the wore these a lot. Americans will know it as TJ Maxx, but I got got it from TK Maxx in here in the UK. That's what they call it here. Super cheap these were. New Balance wanted to be one of the hipsters. These were something that I bought offline, and I was like, these are these look sick online. And then when you put them on your feet, you're just like, nah. You used to love those. Yeah, I did. And now I put them on, and I was like, what was I thinking? You know, you start when you're a kid when you used to have haircuts, and you're like, ah, oh, my haircut looks sick. And I then, think you got those post Miami because you were vibing Miami. Yeah, I think I was time. vibing Miami. Yeah, I was like, Noah Olsen's so cool. Maybe I should get the same kind of shoes that he has. He is still so cool. I just can't pull off the Noah Olsen shoe vibe. Um, what else do we have? Jazz, jazz. Oh, these are some of my favorite ones. I got these from Dubai. Some Reebok pumps. Yeah. First edition Fronings, which are literally like skate shoes. You put these on, they're like wearing a pair of Etnies or DCs. Like, do a kickflip. These are like the, the sturdy workhorse, you know, like they don't quit on you. You always have these. Yeah, the Nano 6s. These, I reckon you could go through like a nuclear blast and these would come out. These were the custom ones that I had of those. And I wore them so much that look, there's no grip. Yeah, and there was like holes in the sides. Oh, and then, oh, these are the eights, aren't they? The eights. I'm gonna give you a, a, sh a shoe. What do, you, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm gonna give you a shoe rating. Uh, top, you have these, my favorite shoes in the world, right? Nano 9s. I just like the fit, I like that they're wide, I like that they're airy, I like wadding in them, they're comfortable, they're great. My number two of all time CrossFit shoes is the 6s. I think that they're just cool, they're robust, they're just, they're just cool, you know, like look at them. 
And then my third pair of most comfortable shoes is the is the eight. Or was it the seven? No, the sevens no, were the, the one. Sevens the sevens were, were the trash ones, ones yeah. Because yeah. we were disappointed after the sevens. And then we were disappointed then when they bought out the eights because they looked the same as the sevens, but they were just completely different. Yeah. I have like first edition nobles that have like fallen apart. They're like plimp soles. I don't know if I'm a fan of the style compared to the other ones, but then some people really love the look of the style. It's just not my cup of tea because I'm British. Oh, 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 oh. The noble weightlifters. <laughs> now these are my, uh, you know, when we have to go somewhere really fancy, I put these on. These are the games colorway of the nines. These ones, look, I haven't worn much because I just like to wear them for more style because they're just cool. Uh, more nines. Then we have a couple of pairs of Ufosses. Just as you can tell, the dog likes them more than... I mean, I love them, but the dog likes them. I mean, we're all wearing them. Just super, oh, super comfortable, kind of like rehab shoes. Then more eights. Ah, uh, yeah. This makes Jazz officially a crossfitter. If you don't own a pair of these, then are you really a crossfitter? She's got Burks. These came through the other day. My first ever pair. First ever pair of Burks. I like them. They're just sandals. They're a very good shoe. And then a couple of notable mentions of Jazz's. She's got the confetti Metcons, which are pretty cool. And then she's got the unicorn Metcons, which are pretty cool. And when you think that's it, I got my new biking shoes through today, the 510 Free Rider Pro. So I'm gonna be the guy on the trail. All the gear, no idea. Kevin, when he came, he said, you don't have a pair of biking shoes. What is wrong with you? If you wanna be a professional biker. Bear in mind to him, right? Like we've collected these over five years of doing CrossFit and fitness. And also we've been lucky enough to like be sent some pairs and things like that. So we're very thankful for him. What would you know? We, <laughs> what would you know? We have at least two more pairs of Nano 9s. I did rate these. They're actually super comfortable and they hug your feet and they're really stable and they're a good shoe. It's they, just, they're the same as my pink ones downstairs. Yeah, they're the same as your pink ones downstairs. Color. Just, I prefer the nines. More nobles. I did the video saying these were some of my favorite shoes and they were at the time, but then I kind of just got drawn in by the pump thing where you pump it up around your ankle. They were comfy though. Yeah, they were comfy because they had the same base as the six and they had more of a sock fit rather than a shoe fit. So I did like them, but just then, the eights came along. I wore these to sixth form, so for people that's like <laughs> school. I also wore these to sixth form. What the hell are they like? What, what are these? You look like an elf. Look at that. You that's look what... like an elf. No, 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 no. Nah, hold on, hold on. This is what I look like when I wear Metcons. I think I look cool, but then they're so small. What do you think, Carla? This is what I think I look like when I wear Metcons. They're like they're so small that I, like I think I look cool, but they just look tiny on my feet. It's a no from Carla. So Rich actually gave me these when we were training. He said, "Do you want to try them and tra train in them?" I was like, "Yeah." They're Adidas's attempt at CrossFit training shoes. The boosts. They're just half a size too big, so I didn't really end up wearing them too much. Um. Take the old shoe off. <laughs> These used to be my fancy going out shoes, my boat shoes for when I used to do boating. I never stepped foot on a boat. From back when I used to be a sprinter. And to finish it all off, my granddad's slippers. I've actually been missing these, maybe we'll put these back on. Anyway, that has been, uh, that's been the breakdown of all the shoes that we've got. <laughs> I hope you did enjoy today's content. Uh, if you did, as always, smash that like button. Uh, leave a comment down below, team, if you're liking these more daily uploads, more kind of casual lifestyle ones. I'm enjoying doing them. It's just, you know, it's kind of weird being back doing that. We're used to, you know, traveling the world and doing competitions and things. And it's kind of, I feel like we're going back to the raw, old school style of vlog. Just now we have a puppy. And our own house. Smash that like button if you did enjoy today. Don't worry about that. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. No, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you want to see more training, more whatever. I want to get more interactive with you guys. Put stuff down in the comments and I'm going to make it happen. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Live your dreams, Carla. Live, Live your, your dreams, dreams. Carla. Live your dreams.
<laughs> you know her dreams. Her dreams are like eating a lamb bone whilst running through the park. We need to do that for her. You live your dream every day. <laughs>